welcome back to the App Spotlight series. We are now doing Paper Monsters. To start off, here is the main menu. A nice little 3D game that is a platformer with a 3D style added to it. Very, very unique. Uh, well, maybe not completely unique, but it's a very clever game. Uh, has a very nice, cute little soundtrack. This is the button store. You collect buttons instead of coins. And the gold buttons you can use to get clothing. You can change. It even has this uh, Mario-themed <laughs> block and turtle shell hat and stuff. Anyway, overall, it's pretty neat. You can reset it or go to the button store and get as via in-app purchase. Purchase packs of buttons to skip ahead if you want to. There's the uh, intro down there. The video camera icon was for their little intro that tells the story a little bit. It has uh, It's linked with Game Center, so it has um, achievements and leaderboards. You can view your friends and everything. And, uh, yeah, so this is all in there. There's 30 achievements total. And uh, I like that thing that Game Center added where you can actually rate the app in there. Okay, so main there's the main adventure with the levels, and then there's other mini-games, I'm guessing. I haven't tried them yet. Anyway, these are the, each of the levels, and the paper clips are kind of like stars in other games. In other games, you have to get three stars to complete the level at the, you know, the highest output. And uh, so, yeah, so it has kind of a long, <laughs> laggy uh, loading screen. But anyway, so here's your character. And what you do is on the left side of the screen, see the little guide thing, you just move your finger around, go to go back and forth. The right side of the screen is for jumping. You just tap it, and if you tap again after you've jumped, you it'll like it's like a double jump and you'll boost a little bit higher. And certain places when you land, you will it'll sprout these little uh, mushrooms and different things and uh, gives gives you points, like ten ten points and stuff. So that's good. You want to get a over high overall score. So this little robot guy is uh, the bad guys, and um, the little button, silver buttons are the miniature coins, and certain amounts of those will earn you uh, one gold button. These presents, will you can land next to them. I've already opened this one, but if you land next to them, it'll, they'll open up and some item will come out, like a, like a button or a, uh, a map. What's, what are they called? Um, adventure maps or whatever, and um, hearts. Sometimes you have three hearts up there. And anyway, so the, the bad guys are the robots and different things, depending on what level you're on. And you are a little cardboard guy, and I like to call him the uh, the Amazon cardboard guy, because that's what he looks like, kind of, with a seven-year-old drawing of a face slapped on the front. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so here's some bombs, actually. And these actually can be helpful, but you don't want to be next to them, because um, anything you hit will take one life away from you. Or one heart, sorry. But anyway, that what guy, when you blow him up, he knocks the bridge down, which is kind of cool. It's like a 3D little thing, and I'll be showing more of that soon. So here's a 3D effect I like. Check this out. They actually fall forward and behind the screen there. So it's actually a pretty full 3D game. I mean, it's, it's always random. And you go through these pipes, kind of like Mario, to go into the different sections. There's another present. There's all kinds of secret little locations that you want to look for, and there's multiple ways to go. So you kind of have to go through the levels multiple times before you'll get everything and figure out how to get the highest score possible. Uh, I kind of do this wrong, but here's the uh, some mushrooms that you actually bounce on, and you have to get the double jump to get the highest ones, but that one I actually did wrong, and it took me a little while right here to figure out how I got it, and then I remembered, oh yeah, you have to do it over here. So I just jumped over here, and jump, there we go. <laughs> and I almost don't even make it to that one. Anyway, so next, um, let's see, there's a bomb. Sometimes, see, you can't push those things over yourself. Some of them you can, but on this one you can't. So you blow him up, and it knocks it over. And here's one of the secret locations. See, some people just go in there. There we go, there's a paper clip. And a little mushroom, actually. <laughs> For an extra 100 points. So you go into the tube, go back into the second part of the level, and this is another cool thing, it has in the foreground and background levels, and they move separately, and uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, let's get this present first, see, this one gives you a gold button, and it keeps track of it up in the top right, and your score, the little arrow hand arrows, the old-fashioned style, will point which way to go, the pinwheel is actually a checkpoint 
for halfway through that if you die, you can press in the little pause menu the pinwheel and it'll start you back there instead of the entire whole thing. But it does decrease your points. There's another 3D explosion. <laughs> I really like those. I really like the the way this app works. It just flows so nice. Okay, so here's a little thing I accidentally jumped into. And here's, let's see if I can get around this <laughs> pipe edge. Here we go. And this takes you into the background there, I think. Oh, wait. Okay, this is the uh, one of the extra um, ones where you're kind of up in the clouds. Yeah, this was an extra secret little area I found. And it also ends up uh, taking you to the background, which I'm about to tell you about. But anyway, so I get those coins, or uh, buttons, actually, silver buttons. And you fall down, and there we go. See, I'm in the background now. And it doesn't zoom into it, it just leaves it in the background, which is actually a pretty cool effect. I really like it. And uh, it's it actually be probably easier to see on my iPad. Um, for iPad users, I mean. The uh, iPhone users and stuff, I'm not sure. <laughs> I jumped out of the way of that guy pretty quick. Anyway, I'm not sure how good that would be. But anyway, so this is the ending of the level. You get on a little stage, flashes and confetti and spotlights, and you go off through the <laughs> closing cur curtains, kind of like a Mario thing where you go into the building. And then it racks up your total stuff and everything, you know, pretty much like a normal stuff. So there's a uh, snow biomes uh, <laughs> type thing. I'm still thinking of my Minecraft right now. <laughs> but uh, anyway, there's snow maps and all kinds of different ones, which I'll be showing more of later. Um, in these, there's different types of platforms. This one slowly starts to fall, so you want to jump off those as quickly as possible. This guy actually throws a spear at you, which can damage and take one heart from you. So you want to be careful of those guys. There's also icicles that will drop. So you kind of you can run past them or just wait for them like I did. And uh, I actually get hit by one of the spears there, which I wasn't really paying attention. And uh, here's another one. So you want to get off the platform as quick as you can. Okay, so another thing in the second set of levels is you get to be into it in a uh, submarine or a little sub, yeah, which is pretty cool. Um, there's like mines, underwater mines, and uh, uh, not squids, uh, octopi. I'm pretty sure <laughs> the long-running argument about how that is pronounced, but uh, it, I think it's octopi. So, so <laughs> anyway, um, if you press the, you move around at the left side of the screen as always, and on the right side you pre tap to fire a missile. Okay, so here's chapter one, chapter two, it's different ones, and then the third one is uh, <laughs> is like a western theme. Actually, I like the snow falling in front of the thing on the last one. And then the Paphras ru Ruins. And then this one, I'm not exactly sure what this is. Maybe coming soon net map packs and stuff. Or whatever. Um, the virtual joystick, as you saw, you can switch between the touchpad and a virtual joystick. And then here is another little mini type game where you're on a sleigh, or a sled, sorry, sliding down the hill. And you have to be careful of the gaps. <laughs> But anyway, so that's about it for this app. Thanks for watching, and go check it out at the App Store.